Okay, so in this video I'll show you how you can encode a video using open software called Handbrake. Handbrake's a good piece of kit to do this without losing much quality at all. Go to Google and type in Handbrake. Go ahead and download it from Handbrake's official site and complete the installation. The install file is only 13 meg. I've only created a handful of videos as I'm still new to all of this, but I wanted a way to compress a video and save my large mp4 files to upload to YouTube and our website. Once Handbrake's installed, open the software and let's take a look at a couple of ways to open a file. You can either drop your video file directly into this section, or open the file location from the top left. I'll just use this video that I created in PowerDirector and drag it into Handbrake. PowerDirector let me save the output of the file as an MP4. The total file size you can see here is 58 meg which for a 3 minute video is pretty large. Once the files in Handbrake, I tend not to play around with many of the options. You can open the source file from the top left and just glance over to check the format. Here it's set to MP4, another option is MKV. I'll leave it set as MP4 for now. There's also an option to optimise the video for the web. I'll check this. Coming over to the dimensions tab now, just make sure the source dimensions are set to 1920 by 1080 On the filters tab, change the deinterlace option to off. You can leave the default options set on other tabs. On the video tab there's a sliding bar which allows you to change the quality of the video. If you choose a lower number like 0, there will be no losses in the video which will result in a higher output file size. It's recommended to keep the number between 18 and 20 for standard definition sources and 20 to 23 for higher definition sources. Let's just go back to the summary tab and I'll double check some of the options before starting to encode. I'm just going to click browse to set my file name and choose where I want to save it. Go up here and click encode. Handbrake will now start encoding the video and you can check its progress in the bottom right corner. Whilst the video is encoding, let's just take a quick look at Task Manager and see what hardware is being used. You can see my CPU being hammered. I've got an i7 CPU with 16GB memory and 2GB graphics card. So keep in mind that encoding times will vary depending on what hardware you're using. Ok, let's just check on the progress in the bottom left. You can see that Handbrake's now finished encoding my 58 meg video. I'm hoping the file size would only be around 10ish meg. You can see here that by compressing the video I've managed to reduce it to 11.9 meg, which has been reduced massively from 58 meg. The first time I did this I was thinking there might be a loss of video quality. Let's just take a quick look. You can see there's not much video quality loss. It's still great quality and ready for the web. Overall, Handbrake's great. It's free and codes videos with ease. I hope you found this video useful. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Hit the like button and subscribe.